Okay, we got the bash source code, CD into bash, and to run this is super easy, we just run configure. This will go through, figure out everything about our system and figure out what kind of build system makes sense for this. So then after we run this, we can run make, which will compile bash. So I'll let this run, this will take a bit. All right, let's run make and... Okay, 24 seconds, not bad. So that's fully compiled now. If you ls it, all the stuff is here. So if we wanted to, we could just run bash. And there you go. We're just running the newly installed, or not installed, compiled version of bash. We don't want to do that. Let's go to the examples, loadables directory, and here are our loadables. So we could run make on any one of these and just create it. So I think we can do make accept, and there we go. Now we have accept here. We can't run this. It's not an executable file. It is a shared object, so we should just uh, we should just be able to uh, enable it. So the enable built in, this will pull accept that's in bash. We can do dash F and give it a file. So the file we're gonna give it is the accept thing that we just compiled in our current directory. So this is the file, and this is the name of the built-in. We run this, and now we've loaded it that way. So what does that mean? Well, let's talk about accept.c. We have accept.c. Let's go down here and let's show how it works. Super duper simple. We validate the port from the user. We make sure it looks good. We check to see if they gave us a name for the variable. Otherwise we use this name for the variable. Simple, simple, simple. We create a socket. We set the address of the socket. We set some options on it. We bind the socket. If you've never seen code to make a socket and see, this is very simple, very straightforward. Create the socket, you bind. Then you'll listen. This is where it'll actually start listening on that port for new requests. And this is the important part down here. This is where we call accept on the socket. So notice what happens. After we call accept, this is how you accept one client. One client. Normally you would call accept in a loop if you were to make like a web server or something. We accept one client and then we instantly close the listening socket. So this accept built-in is great for a one shot, for I'm making a server for one thing to talk to me and one thing only because I'm going to close it.